Tonight, we recognize three companies who provided exceptional humanitarian service to the citizens of Puerto Rico following Hurricane Maria, Crowley Maritime, Tote, and Trailer Bridge. Two hours after the US Coast Guard reopened San Juan Harbor, Jones Act shipping line Crowley Maritime began discharging supplies off barges with commercial and government relief. Since then, Crowley has operated almost 24-7 serving Puerto Rico, increasing its capacity by 67%. Transporting more than 100,000 TEUs of relief and recovery supplies, delivering more than 40,000 electrical poles to restore power supply, and more than 7,000 transformers for the electrical grid, not to mention the power restoration equipment, oversized drill, bridge rebuilding supplies, fuel trucks, and 177,000 barrels of Jet A1 fuel. One day after the port reopened, Tote offloaded two ships and more than 2,000 containers with relief cargo. Since then, Tote has delivered more than 59,000 containers and participated in and hosted more than 25 community giving events that have supported more than 19,500 individuals in some of Puerto Rico's hardest hit areas. Tote has delivered more than 20 million gallons of water, 1.5 million gallons of ice, 8,000 generators, 255 utility trucks and equipment, and more than 60,000 water filters in cooperation with Operation Agua. Trailer Bridge began filling containers with relief supplies to send to Puerto Rico to help its employees, friends, families, and neighbors with Hurricane Maria's impending landfall was making news around the world. The company has spent more than $1 million on water, food, generators, and other supplies and has worked to keep containers of relief and recovery supplies flowing alongside government agencies, contractors, and humanita humanitarian organizations. For their extraordinary efforts, please help me welcome to the stage the recipients of our humanitarian award, Tom Crowley and Jose Nazario, representing Crowley Maritime. Thank you very much for that very kind recognition and this award. Um, I'm, I'm here really to represent um, uh, comments as it relates to the industry, and I've asked Jose to, to be here tonight to, to comment as it relates to our employees in Puerto Rico. But I think that uh, what I have to say tonight is that, that this effort could not have happened with uh, Crowley or Tote or Trailer Bridge alone. It was really many people in this room and in our industry that came together. As Admiral Busby pointed out, this was a real collective effort of the American maritime industry responding. Uh, we, we did increase our, our fleet capacity by 67%, but that was, not our, that was not our equipment. That was the equipment represented in, for many people in this room. And there were many other parts of the relief effort that happened that, uh, that have gone unsaid that are, have, have not been recognized uh, on the parts of supply boats that came from the Gulf of Mexico, from ATBs that came from Florida. And uh, it was really a, a very, very large collective effort. Uh, we got a tremendous amount of credit because of CNN and all the other news agencies that happened to be on our pier looking at our containers. But, uh, but there was a tremendous amount. When you went down to that island and you, and you saw the, the maritime assets that were deployed uh, to respond to that incident, it was, it was incredible. It was, it was a story not told. So I, I really appreciate uh, the Admiral, Admiral Busby. Uh, for recognizing that and helping us tell that story. It's a fantastic uh, story for the American maritime industry uh, to know and to tell and most importantly to be very proud of. So I thank um, the, S the Siemens Church Institute for recognizing us, bringing attention to this situation, and for all of you being here tonight uh, to help us celebrate. Thank you. Good evening. The memories of Wednesday, September 20, will live for me, with me, the rest of my life. That day, a hurricane category five destroyed, devastated the island of Puerto Rico, my beautiful island. <coughs> Sorry. 
it was an intensive 14 hours of strong winds, 175 mile per hour winds of a hurricane that didn't want to go away. The next day of the hurricane, after confirming that my family was okay, I went to the terminal to make an assessment of the damages. And I found something incredible. 96% of our employees show up to work, leaving their, their families without power, without communications, some of them even without roof. And they were there. And you may ask, why did, why did people do that? And there's only one word that describes that, and it's commitment. Commitment to Crowley and commitment to Puerto Rico. Because they knew that in those containers that we have to unload, in those Crowley containers, there was the food, there was the ice, there was the water, there was the fuel, there was the construction material for the recovery of the island. So on behalf of the, of the 350 employees that we have in San Juan, I thank you for this recognition. Muchas gracias.